Hey guys, Bit here with my 2013 updated Winter's Day patch build video. Um, it's been over a year since my last Winter's Day patch video, and uh, a lot has changed obviously in Guild Wars 2, and a lot has changed with Elementalist. Even very recently, there's been a lot of changes to the traits, and uh, when we go over my traits from this new build, I'm going to I'm gonna show you how I uh, went through them kind of bit by bit just to see what to pick. Um, so I started off with uh, Water Magic. Um, they did some more changes to Water Magic. They took Cleansing Wave, they took it out of the Adept and put it into the Master line. So <laughs> this t used to be you only, you only needed 10, but now you need 20 to get it. And uh, it's just it's too good to pass up, so you need to go at least 20 water. Um, it combos with Healing Ripple really, really well. Uh, and besides that, um, then I also had to pick one of these. Uh, the one that caught my eye the most was Soothing Wave. Uh, Cantrip Mastery is okay, uh, but I think this is a lot better. When you have a lot of boon duration, uh, the heal will go up, as you'll see once I put some points in Arcana. Um, I'll show you Soothing Wave again, and it'll be more of a heal because it heals you over a longer period of time. So Soothing Wave is pretty cool. Uh, 30 Arcana, of course, as Evasive Arcana is amazing. Um, you just uh, roll around, get cool stuff, especially the Cleansing Wave. It's basically this Cleansing Wave and Healing Ripple combined into one. So that's really, really good for when you're rolling around. You can blind people. You get the Cripple, the Blast Finisher, get the Might Stacks. And I guess if you want to burn people, it's good too. I would also get Elemental Attunement. They bumped this up to uh, the Master as well. You now need 20 points to get it. But that's alright, because we got 30 points in this anyway. So obviously we're still going to get Elemental Attunement. Um, 7 seconds of Protection, Swiftness, Regen really really strong uh, then I would get renewing stamina gain vigor when you deliver a critical hit we're gonna be cr uh, critting a lot I think I have 54% crit chance with vigor or er, sorry with theory so that's never a bad thing and as you can see regen has gone up to 645 per heal or not per heal but for the duration so it's pretty good so to, to basically to get this I had to take five points out of earth out of my last build as my last build was 15 air 10 earth 15 water and 30 arcana. So I take, I'm taking all the points out of earth and we're putting them all into air. We're going to get bolt to the heart. Um, we had some discussions on my stream of which of which of these to get. I thought that uh, I thought that maybe arcane lightning would be cool as I used, uh, I used I was using arcane shield and another arcane spell. Um, air training isn't so bad but we decided on uh, Bolt of the Heart as it's a big damage increase when people are low, and that's when you're going to really need to be killing them, especially uh, Warriors, Guardians, um, even Necros with their Death Shroud. If they're below 33% health, I believe that even with Death Shroud, Bolt of the Heart will be active, so be, you'll be dealing more damage, and that's uh, a really, really good thing. And then, of course, Zephyr's Boon, 7 seconds of Fury, 7 seconds of quickness, uh, Swiftness, not Quickness, and uh, that's never bad. So these are the traits that I finalized for this new build. Not too much of a difference. It's just, you know, 10 points out of here. Add 5, add 5. And there you go. On to the gear. Um, I've changed my gear around very, very slightly. Not too much has gone on. Um, as a disclaimer, I would be uh, recommending that you get Ascended gear. Ascended gear obviously gives you more stats. And so your stats could even be higher than mine here. Um, before we get to the gear though, my food, sharpening stones, bowls of sweet and spicy butternut squash soup, 100 power, 10% critical damage, gives you pretty good stats. So for the gear, I have a knight's headpiece, berserker shoulders, soldier's chest piece, knight's gloves, knight's leggings, and berserker's boots. I now have a berserker's dagger and a knight's dagger, which is different from the celestial weapons that I was using in my last build. I still have the Berserker back piece, Berserker uh, Ascended accessory, and then the rest is uh, Cavalier accessory, two Cavalier rings, one is infused, that's why I have two of the same ring, and Ascended necklace. Is that a necklace? Amulet? Whatever. <laughs> uh, so we're looking at 93% critical damage, 2600 armor, still pretty low health, but that's okay, because I have Defense Against Guards, 250 more vitality, uh, for killing guards, and I now also have guard killer, which is 100, 100 more power. Um, I still feel like even though this is pretty a pretty small amount of HP, it's still pretty good. Um, I don't have stacks all the time, and it's 
I've, I've run, not really run into too many problems, so it's still really strong. You should be able to be okay doing this if uh, you play maybe a little safer, but I found that I don't really need to, especially with the utilities that I'm running, which uh, I'll go over now. It's mist form. Uh, just, it's mist form. <laughs> breaks a stun, you're invincible, they can't hit you. Uh, Arcane Shield. Uh, this also breaks a stun, um, it, except that when they hit you three times though, it blocks three attacks, and then it explodes, and I've had this thing crit for five, five to four thousand damage. Really, really good. And of course, Lightning Flash helps you get away, helps you move around, you can do some tricks with it, and you can even use it to Lightning Flash on top of people, crits them for like maybe 2,000, 2,500, I've had it crit for three. Really, really strong. Uh, Fiery Greatsword got a pretty good buff. You can now use it while running. So as you can see, you can put it, she puts it down, you can still run, run away with it. It's my main use for it, really, but uh, you can kill seeds with it, you can do the uh, Fiery Greatsword number four, Lightning Flash little trick, makes a little line of fire. It's pretty cool. Um, and now for the heal, I've been using Ether Renewal for a long time. Uh, people have been asking me what do I think of a Signet. Is the Signet still good? My answer is no. Is Arcane Brilliance good? My answer is no. Um, you still need to cure conditions, like everyone's spamming Immobilize, Poison, Confusion. Uh, but there's a lot of bleeds that any uh, Necro, Engineer, Mesmer, they're going to be poor in conditions. You need Ether Renewal. Um, a good little thing to do is uh, Arcane Shield and then, uh, then Ether Renewal. Um, if you feel like someone's going to try to interrupt you or something, it'll block the interrupt, and you'll be okay. Uh, at least for three. If you're getting Zerg, it probably doesn't matter, but there you go. Another cool build you could do is uh, Diamond Skin. Now, what Diamond Skin does, it's uh, conditions cannot be applied to you when your health is above the threshold, and the threshold is 90% of your health. Um, it's really fucking cheesy. Like, if you know about StarCraft 2, this is basically the sixth pool or cannon rush of Guild Wars 2. And you get some pretty cool traits in Earth that kind of complement this, uh, like Rock Solid. This grants stability to nearby allies when attuning to Earth. So when you return to Earth, you get fucking stability, which lets you Ether Renewal without worry, and it's pretty good. So you can switch to Earth, Ether Renewal, remove any conditions you do have, you get healed up to full, and then boom, you're immune to conditions. People just see immune spam when they try to get conditions on you. And then I would still use Stone Splinters, 10% damage increase. Anything else really in here is, it's alright, but... Yeah, like the armor of Earth is pretty neat, and the elemental shielding is actually pretty nice. But um, I want more damage. I don't want to lose too much damage because you, you're taking all points out of air to do this. So, as you still need cleansing wave, you still need soothing wave, and you can't go 30 here, so you're losing you're losing the uh, evasive arcana proc there. So you still want the elemental attunement. and you still want renewing stamina, or you could use windborne dagger, which actually works now. Um, you're not getting the perma swiftness from here anymore, so this is not a bad idea. Um, if you don't want to use this, you kind of need to use uh, Signet of Air, especially in World vs. World. Just moving around the map is just generally a good idea. Unless you're running with somebody who's giving you a lot of swiftness, you kind of need to use either Signet of Air or Windborne, or Windborne Dagger, in my opinion. But you don't have to. Uh, I just like to move around as fast as I can. So you can still use Renewing Stamina. I personally choose the Windborne Dagger because I still want to use these three utilities that we just talked about. Um, so that's the cheesy S build. It works pretty good when you have low health. It looks really good when you have high armor. Um, the only gear change that I would do is I would put on this uh, Apple Seller's Lucky Cog over Althea's Ashes. This is the Cav another Cavalier Ascended Trinket. And as you can see, oops, when I have uh, when I'm in Earth, I have 3,128 armor, and when I'm not, I have 3,008 armor. So 3,000 armor, pretty low health, and, commun and immune to conditions, 73% critical damage. Still around the same amount of power, but less crit chance too. So so there's the two options you guys can use. You can either use the 20 air, 20 water, 30 air cannon build, or the diamond skill build, that we like to call it on my stream. Uh, <laughs> that build's pretty cheesy, but I liked it a lot. I like both of them. I personally am going to go with the 20 water, 20 air, 30 air cannon build. Lots of damage and uh, good, uh, good sustain. So, thanks for watching, guys. Happy holidays to everybody. I'm making this video on Christmas Eve, so I'm excited for Christmas tomorrow. But hope you guys have a good time. Thanks for following me over this over a year of playing Guild Wars 2. Uh, I know my content hasn't been as steady lately. I've kind of been playing other things, but we're still playing Guild Wars 2. Don't worry. 
See you guys later. Peace out.